Hi guys, so last Friday at work, I spent hours debugging an issue and I feel so dumb for saying this, but anyway, it turns out that it was because a new version of my Lambda microservice wasn't rolled out to the production account. So you were thinking to yourself, well, hey Dumbo, how come your make file doesn't do that? Well, the trouble is, is that um, the front-end JavaScript co code required a change in this my Lambda microservice. And I changed it in dev, and we, we got it working. It's working in dev front-end. It's working in the dev Lambda. But unfortunately, since the interface changed, if I deployed that, that Lambda into production, the production <laughs> front-end wouldn't work with the production Lambda. So they needed to be synchronized to be deployed. Unfortunately, front-end deployment is done by my colleague, not myself. So, and to be honest, I should have remembered that there needed to be some coordination, but to be honest, after a week or two, I forgot about it. So yeah, it's my fault. So what happened was production front-end got, got deployed. This microservice didn't get deployed. And strange errors, wasting hours trying to debug it, finally worked out that that, uh, that didn't deploy it. So how do you fix this problem? I think people I've spoken to say that you need to support like the legacy API and you know the old API and the new API. Your, 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 your service needs to support both APIs so that the old uh, front-end code will, will work as well as the new one. But I find that supporting um, different versions of a, an API is just, just really, really, really hard. Um, you know, th there are ways, but I just think it just adds so much. You know, I want to keep my microservice lean and mean. I don't want to to have to have like, you know, API v1 and v2 and v3. I just, that's just gnarly to me, but maybe I have to. Maybe I have to, seriously. I, that, that's probably, probably the one way. Another way I was considering is maybe I create like a Prometheus check to make sure to sort of highlight to me as a DevOps guy that their, their version consistencies. So unfortunately, Apex Up is not built for, for multiple account deploys. So this is why I have this crazy make file, as you can see. So now I can see if I go make dev, I can see, I can see that uh, the version that's, that's in the version that's in dev is 25a, blah, 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 blah. And the version in, in prod is also the same version. Good. So basically, I need something that, that basically does these queries in a sense and tells me if this is not the same as this between the accounts. I think that's another, another thing I should probably do. Um, okay, yeah, first thing, supporting legacy APIs, don't really want to do that too make some sort of DevOps monitoring thing to check the versions between accounts. And three, okay, this is the thing I was thinking is maybe is maybe Travis or maybe the build, the deployment process can some, somehow accommodate the fact that, that the new front-end version depends on a new version of the Lambda. How do you do that? I don't know. I I, tr I don't think Travis or, or or GitHub or anybody has some sort of like depends on this other repo sort of construct when it comes to doing continuous deployment, which we do. So anyway, I'm making this video to share all this trouble that I had just because it wasn't even a really a bug. It was all because one version wasn't deployed. It's so frustrating. So what do you think I should do? Should I support old APIs? I suppose so. Should I, I should definitely write this. I'm definitely doing this. And if anyone knows a way of somehow coordinating, I mean, I, th I think this, this problem is just explodes when you, when you have more and more um, microservices and lambdas and all those sort of stuff, you know, 
you need more coordination. When you run a monolithic application, you don't need this coordination. You have it in implicitly. And I'm, I'm sorry to miss that a bit. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe for more, and please comment below. See you guys. Bye.